Wow. That definitely tastes like a ham and cheese sandwich. This is Master Chef Canada. It's ham and cheese. There's no spice, no herbs. It lacks excitement. My tortellini is not as good as I thought. It could be me going home. And when you're sealing the tortellini, you can use a little egg wash, a splash of water, and sometimes you can do it without any of that. As long as the dough is soft and moist enough, you give it a good crimp pinch, nice it will pinch. not open up. Come on now. Cody, his nerves get to him. It's, it's such a delicate operation, and with those shaky hands. Knowing that this tortellini is the deciding factor of whether I stay or whether my MasterChef Canada journey is done, it's nerve-wracking. One minute, you have one minute left, come on! I want to see some beautiful tortellini dish in one minute! Come on, guys, last stretch, you can do this. Looking good, you're looking good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Hands up! Great job, guys. I'm looking at my tortellini. I wish I could have pushed just a little bit harder, but nothing I can do now. I'm worried there's not enough sauce, and they're gonna call me on it. You've all just had 60 minutes to make us flawless tortellini in a velvety cheese sauce. Let's find out how you did. Andrew, please bring up your tortellini. This is a tortellini stuffed with portobello mushroom, anchovy pesto. What's in the sauce? The sauce is a standard Mornay sauce with mozzarella and some garlic. I like the presentation. It's clean. I like clean dishes, but with flavor. Hopefully this delivers. Well, pasta. Perfect. Filling. When you were putting those cooked white anchovies, didn't think it would work. You deliver on that too. Only problem is, it's a little bit dry. The reason was you could put more of that creamy cheese sauce. Christopher, please bring up your tortellini. I'm worried that my filling is dry. I'm worried my presentation isn't impressive enough. And I'm feeling really nervous. So the filling is made of pancetta, sausage, portobello, and artichoke hearts. It's been flavored with garlic, onion, and sage. Well, the shape to me looks terrific. Let's see what they look like inside. A good amount of filling? You happy with that? Yes. Well, the pasta's cooked very nicely. The filling, I find a little subtle but an interesting combination of ingredients. This is quite good. Thank you. Wow. How did you achieve such a beautiful, creamy, light cream sauce? I started with a roux. I used a bit of a white wine reduction in it and mixed with cheese. Wow. It's so velvety. You're a pastry guy, right? That's where you're confident? Yeah. I think it's time you begin to be a little more confident in the savory world because you have a beautiful tortellini here. It's very good. Thank you, Chef. Quasi, you're up next, please. Tell me about your dish. In it, you'll find some roasted red peppers, white anchovies. Hmm. Did you run out of filling? No. Nope. There's almost no filling in there. A bit funky. A lot of flavors happening. There's peppers, there's anchovies. What else is in here? Mushroom, onion, there's some crushed raisins. Hmm. I'm confused by it. You were struggling to shape your tortellini. The pasta had me, chef. It had me up against the ropes. The pasta dough, not bad. The creamy sauce, I think, is very good. But some of those flavors in the fillings, a little tough to get one's head around. David, please bring your tortellini up here. 
I call it ham and cheese. There's pancetta, cottuccino, and a little bit of mortadella. Wow. That definitely tastes like a ham and cheese sandwich. This is MasterChef Canada. It's ham and cheese. It lacks excitement. David. There are a couple of things that I think you have gone astray on. The filling. It's very big in the mortadella end of things, which is a very rich meat. You know, at this stage of the game, I want to see elevated flavors. If this dish ends up sending you home, will you have regrets with the decision you made not to be safe up in the gallery? No. Let's hope it doesn't send you home. Cody, please bring your dish up to the front. So this is a tortellini that is stuffed with pancetta, a trio of mushrooms that also has chives in there. Love the plate that you've chosen. Ideal for such a pasta dish. These are quite small. Yes, sir. They're a little smaller than a typical size tortellini. You've cooked the tortellini perfectly. The filling is flavorful. What's the flavoring in the sauce? Black garlic, sherry, and shallots. It could be a little bit more acidic, a little more white wine to just help clean the flavors. But all in all, not bad. OK. Thank you. Sabrina, please bring up your dish. I kept it classic, but I kept it delicious. I'm confident putting this dish in front of the judges. My tortellini is stuffed with Italian sausage and broccoli. I cooked out some shallots and garlic. Beautiful shaped tortellini here. I'm not surprised, though, because we've seen you with pasta before, and I hold you to a very high standard when it comes to pasta. This is good, but I know you could do better. You know, Sabrina, you're a go-getter, but I think you need to push harder. What's holding you back? Just used to a certain comfort. Are you scared of failure? I'm scared to push. You should reach higher. This just got real, and it got real up here. You want me to bring it, I'm bringing it. You want me to cook, I'll cook. Everybody, please come up to the front. We gave you 60 minutes to create a stunning tortellini dish. And while some of you surprised us with gorgeous flavor combinations, others surprised us by playing it safe. Christopher, please step forward. Well, I have to tell you, your dish was the best tortellini of the night. Good job, buddy. Please join the other home cooks in the gallery. Thank you, chef. Great job. Way to go, Christopher. At the end of the day, he's running this competition. Cody, Sabrina, Andrew, please step forward. Unlike Christopher, your dishes were not great. But tonight, it's good enough to win you another day in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. Head on up to the gallery. Good luck, guys. <sighs> I'm feeling very grateful to just barely squeak by. Quasi, you tried to bring several cultures together, but ultimately, the flavors got lost in translation. David, you've dazzled us with pasta before but your ham and cheese tortellini did not give us what we expect from you. Your place here in the Master Chef kitchen is only as assured as your latest dish. It's very hard to lose home cooks that we like and respect. But unfortunately, at least one of you has to go home tonight. David. Please take off your apron. And head up to the gallery. You're safe.
Well, the judges are telling me to step it up, and I'm paying attention, baby. I gotta step it up, because that's not gonna happen again. Quasi, you told us that your dream was to inspire people and to become a food superhero. Still is, chef. Well, in this competition, you have displayed those qualities of a superhero. Unwavering fairness and positive action. Thank you, chef. Your warmth and generosity will be missed here. This experience has been absolutely amazing. An absolute pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, chef. Okay. And I want a superhero hug. I loved your food. I thought it was amazing. Do big guys come in here and get emotional? Come on up here and get your apron. Wow! This competition has really given me the push and made me feel like I can really accomplish things with food. All day up in my kitchen, baby. All day. My food dreams have just started. The sky really is the limit. And I'm up, 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 and away.